this, this is a, a special segment, actually, because uh, we have breast cancer awareness. Yes. Um, but these two young ladies are superstars. And, yes, they are. Uh, so we got to get right to it. We got to get righty. right to it. They are superstars. Without further ado. And y'all know I love black girl magic. So, you know, let's sprinkle a little black girl magic as I introduce two amazing women. As Stan said, they are both superstars in their own right. We have Dr. Bonita Parker. Hey, Bonita! And Miss Bershan Shaw. Yes. Both of you guys for stopping by Spotlight. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you so, so, so much, both of you, for taking time out and being a part of our Spotlight family. This is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and you two were the top of our list um, this year. And um, I know how difficult it is to nail both of you down, so I'm very, very grateful for today. So thank you both for being a part of our show. And, and thank you guys yeah. for being so strong, because we know that this is a definite touchy uh, subject. And um, it takes strength it to is. tell your story. So we admire you for coming on and telling your story and being open, helping a Thank lot of people. You. Yes, and when we got and when we put Thank it out there that both of you all were joining today's show, we got flooded with uh, questions and stuff. And so we won't be able to get to all of those questions, but what I thought would be a good idea, because a lot of the questions were pretty much the same, and they all kind of wanted to know um, kind of a, a brief history of what your journeys have been and how do you know one of the questions that we kept getting asked how do you all know one another how did you all become acquainted and um your your own personal journey so whoever can go first and I, I'd like for you um to just take the platform and and make it make yourselves at home okay I guess I'll go first because yeah, yeah it's how we connect it so um, Bershawn and I, we followed each other on social media. Um, we both are kind of like in the empowerment industry. We went to lunch together. So we got acquainted that way, but our actual closeness did not happen until I got my diagnosis. And I remember the doctor calling me on the phone and I was in tears, floored in tears. And I couldn't think of anybody to call. And I had remembered Bershawn and I was like, she's been through this, she can help me. I'm, she, she can talk me off this ledge that I'm about to jump off, right? And she was the first person that I could think of to call to kind of just help me through it and to help me cope and to tell me what to do because she had already been through it, she had already survived it. And I called her, matter of fact, I text her and I was like, can you talk? And she was like, yes, call me. And she shot me her number and I called her, I was crying. She was like, what's wrong, what's wrong? And I told her, and then it was just so amazing how she just, I always say she little sistered me. <laughs> <laughs> she like little sistered me and was just like, we're going to get through this together. Like, I got you. I'm going to tell you what to do. Tell me what the doctor said so that I can tell you exactly how to handle it. And that's exactly what she did. And from that moment in December, 2017, like she has not, failed me. She has not left my side. We have become closer. Like she is my sister. So that's how we oh. got it. <laughs> oh, I love story. That. Thank you. Such a touching story. Such a touching story. So Bonita, your diagnosis was in 2017. Is that what I heard? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Broshan, um, we, we heard about how you got acquainted with Bonita, but let us um, catch us up with um, your journey, your own personal journey, and um, tell us where, where things stand with you today. Yeah, no, thank you. First of all, Bonita, I love you. And I'm always into empowering and helping another sister out because believe me, I know when I was diagnosed, I felt alone. I mean, I got diagnosed in 2007. So, um, you know, it was something I didn't want to talk about. I was embarrassed. My mom had died from cancer maybe 10 years before that. But then two years later, it came back like a vengeance stage four. And it literally just rocked my world, you know, to really have stage four diagnosis and been told that you got three months to live. I mean, that really changes your life and your mindset and everything. And I remember saying, I got to get busy living or dying. So I did everything. I changed my diet. I changed my mindset. I started eating better. I started taking control of my health. You know what I mean? And um, and it really worked. I mean, here I am 12, 13 year, years later. And, you know, me and Benita saw each other on social media. But when she called me, it's like it's all sisterhood because 
we have to start taking control, even of helping other people out, right? So she's my girl, and I love her to death. I'm like, look, do this, that, this, that. Eat like this, like green juice. Eat healthy, you know, exercise. Like, take control of your health. I love that. So today, thank God I'm good. I mean, you know, uh, God willing, luck I would, you know, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. I was going to say, we are touching and agree on all of that, honey. Um, Both of your stories, you know, um, I have just on a, just personally, I have kind of read a lot about both of you. And Benita, you know, I mean, I, you and I have a, a, a friendship, a personal friendship here in the DMV, but Bershawn, I have been following you secretly because you're so inspirational. And um, no, I've never been diagnosed. I had a scare last year. I think it was last year, Benita, where I told you about that. Um, and, and, and it turned out to not be what, we, what they said it could have been, praise God. But you're, you're, you're just so inspirational to women who, um, just regular women like me, right? And so I wanted both of you to come together because again, I admire you both for, for your strength and for what you're doing for other women. And um, oh, Benita, I think you were telling me before COVID, you all, the two of you were planning something um, to yeah. do in October of this year, right? And yeah. COVID kind of put a, put a damper on that. Yeah, absolutely. So Bershawn was actually gonna be um, my keynote at the inaugural gala for the Hope for Pink Foundation. And we actually had to put that on hold. We actually shifted the date to October of 2021. So that's still on the horizon. It's still forthcoming. Um, we're still out here um, inspiring, supporting, and, and just being there for our pink sisters. So, yeah. Um, I love it. So, so both of you, and it, jump in at any time, but one of the ladies who submitted a question, and that actually came in today, she said, could we ask um, what you all advise for someone who has just, she recently got a positive diagnosis um, last week she said and she is just like distraught and she's like what is the first the first things to do when you get that first diagnosis well i think i i'll say this is that you you have to realize you're going to live right don't go into a dark place thinking i'm going to die i'm going to die i'm going to die change your mindset immediately and get to action right it's not about Because the one thing when people hear the big C word or cancer, they're like, oh, my God, I'm going to die. What am I going to do? No, stop it. Let's say, okay, let's put things into action. Let's see what the doctor says. Let's start exercising. Exercising, a statistic to beat it. Eating healthy, a statistic to beat it, right? Changing your mindset. Understanding that, you know, get on your knees, pray, affirmations, like it's time to do the work. I would say cancer was my gift because it woke me up. Yep. That's good. That's really, really That's good. That's good. Really yes, good. yes. But Nita, did you have anything you wanted to add for um, someone like I, a new, a, a person that's new in this? Yeah, pretty much basically piggybacking off of Rashawn, my whole thing was, you know, just remembering why you are here. You are not cancer, right? And so it's always important to like let your faith be part of your healing regimen. And so that's basically what I have to offer somebody who's just been diagnosed this because it's easy to go into that phase of like Bershawn said, oh my God, I'm about to die. And if you don't hold on to your faith, then you're not going to get through. If you're not going to shift your mindset, you can't get through it. If you're not going to change your eating, if you're not going to. And the other thing for me too was having somebody who can journey with you who has been there. That was important for me. Um, I would definitely say that. Don't go talking to just any and everybody because everybody's going to get scared. They're going to be scared Mm -hmm. for you. And all they're going to say is, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. But that's not going to help you heal. You need somebody who can get you good, right, and um, that can actually help you because they've been there. Yeah. That's good, good, good. So uh, what about women who want to be a part of? Do you all have any... um, recommendations for women who want to be a part of support groups do you all have like you know um places to point them to direct direction to point them to to get support um in within my foundation the hope for pink foundation we have our pink sister program and that program does exactly that it pairs up um the newly diagnosed um warriors with thrivers and survivors 
so that they can help them through the process, whether it's a phone call, whether it's going with them, you know, to the doctors or whatever the case may be, just being that support sister for them. So anybody who's interested, definitely go to hopeforpinkfoundation.org and sign up to be a pink sister. For pink.org. Uh, yeah. And I, I, I have an app that's coming out in November called You Are a Warrior, the letter U R A W A R R I O R dot com. And we're giving away free coaching sessions for anybody who's dealing with any illness, cancer, breast cancer, all of that. So please go to the page and sign up or go to Bershawn dot com, B E R S H A N dot com, and it'll have a link to you are warrior dot com. Yeah, I mean that's what I love about Benita. She's always open, always giving. I mean, always trying to teach. So hope for pink. Please. All right. I love I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I don't want to keep you ladies too much longer. And we um, we, we do have to wrap things up shortly. But I want to say again, um, thank you so much for being an inspiration to these women. Thank you so much for all of the, the trailblazing work that both of you all are doing. And um, can you explain before I let both of you go the difference between um, a thriver, a warrior mm -hmm. and a survivor? And we'll wrap with that. Okay. You want me to take it, V? Are you good? Uh, yeah, I mean, go ahead. So I always um, call a thriver is somebody who's diagnosed with a stage four or metastatic breast cancer because that's a diagnosis that they say will follow you throughout life. So you're thriving. You're living with a diagnosis, right? A survivor is someone who has overcome. Um, they are in remission and have been in remission for more than five years um, and are, you know, completely and totally healed from cancer. That's a survivor. And what was the other one? The warrior. The warrior. The, the warrior is the person that is currently in the fight. They're in treatment. They're trying to get to the other side of cancer. And I, I, just to piggyback on her, I always say, Cancer was my diagnosis, not my prognosis on life, right? It's something that that I got diagnosed with, but it's not how I live my life, right? I live my life with joy, victory, and God on my side. So with him, everything is possible. Everything is possible. Yes, and yes, with, yes. With that being said, I'm going to say this. You, you two are amazing, as I spoke of earlier. But it's not just the women that you're inspiring. All of us need to do better with our health. We all yeah. need to be that community to come together, get regular physicals, check us. Men don't do it. We don't. But we need to do it because then something's going to be missing on one of those sides. So we need to, yeah. all of us need to be health conscious and try to uh, do better with our health. So we appreciate that um, just from a whole holistic standpoint. We really do. Yeah, and definitely. thank you both so, so very much. You all, um, you all can reach Benita, Dr. Benita Parker. Um, Benita, give out your information and then Bershawn, I want you to do the same thing before we let you go. Yes, okay. you guys can um, find me on Facebook at the Radical Success Coach or Dr. Benita Parker on Instagram at Dr. Benita Parker and also my website, BenitaParker.com. Yeah, and you can find me on Instagram at Bershawn Shaw, B E R S H A N S H A W. On Facebook, Bershawn Shaw, B E R S H A N S H A W, Twitter, and my website, www.bershawn, B E R S H A N dot com. Thank it. you for having us. Thank, thank, you, thank you so, you. so very thank much. You both for being thank a you. Part of spotlight. Yes, I appreciate it. You all coming up after this commercial break, we've got Patrice live, and we'll catch up with her and find out what's going on with her. Yep, we'll be right back. Spotlight on the city. <laughs> 